What up, guys? I'm just pulling out of the Spotlight car park. Sorry, I'm like looking around trying to drive right now. Um, and I fell into like a mega hole right now. That was $77 down the drain. Crazy expensive. There are some awesome new yarn though. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I gotta, gotta finish what I started first. So, hopefully that's possible. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, <laughs> this is cool. Um, oh, not cool when someone pulls out on you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm just heading to a mate's place at the moment. I was thinking of getting some lunch before I go, but I'm not going to now. Um, yeah. So, um, Gypsy, if you're watching this, I brought the gradient, um, packs from Spotlight. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, there's quite a few there. Um, I don't know. I was going to do a video in there, a comparison video, but... I decided not to, sorry, I just like winding my windows up because it's loud. Um, but, um, my battery on my phone is just about dead. So I thought I would do like a drive catch up thing. Sorry, you can't really see me, the light is like. Woo. But, um, yeah, I will be doing a quick video today while I don't have my son um, and update you guys because it's a day off, it's a public holiday, it is Waitangi Day over here in NZ so I have a chance to do a catch up video. So I will see you guys when I get back home. Alright, bye! Channel guys, um, if you're into crocheting and knitting, stuff like that, um, then you've, and, and, and wool, then you've come to the right place. Um, so as you know, I've been to Spotlight today. Good old spotlight. Um, I picked up a couple of things. Seventy-seven dollars worth. Oh my gosh, so expensive for yarn these days. But as you can tell, it's not going to stop. I have another um, ice yarns order on the way. So um, yeah. Anyway, before we get into the spotlight stuff. I'm going to show you my finished object. It's been a long time coming, but I finished it just like half an hour ago, guys. Half an hour. It is huge. It is heavy. Oh my life. Ugh. I can't fit it all on the screen, guys. <laughs> Um, I'll probably insert a clip, uh, a, a, a picture of it, hopefully. I got one on my phone, so I'll add it in. Um, so I used a cheap for the blanket. Oh, so unorganized. I just randomly picked up the camera and did it. Um, so for... These two colours here, the bl normal blue and the, like, army, sort of, yeah, camo blue, we'll call it. Um, I used a, yeah, bit, 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 that, I don't know, it was, um, 
three dollars for a ball of um, it's not the same colour. I brought this for another project that I'm not going to touch for a while. Um, yeah, so it's $3 for a ball. I don't know how many balls I used. It must have been at least 12, maybe more than that. So it might have been 24 balls of each colour. So for the solid blue and the camo blue, it was probably 24 balls each. Um, yeah. And then for this one, here, this one is Brunette Baby Blanket. Um, it's pretty cool. This one was actually a lot lighter than the um, polyester from, like, let's say the $2 shop. It's not, but it was a random... Um, store that I brought it from it no longer stops it because I think I talked to the people there and they said they had to do a trip to China to get it because they were Chinese people um something like that anyway I couldn't quite understand her but um as far as I know because I was looking for more to make it bigger but luckily I didn't I didn't get any more so all the ends and stuff on that have been done. <laughs> I made more wool out of my ends, guys. So the blue, I chopped off. And you can probably see the little knots that I've put in it. Um, because with what's left over, there's quite, quite a bit of this left over. And quite a bit of the brunette. 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 There's a lot of it left. Um, I want a crochet pillow to go with it. So, um, so that's his little, my son's little um, blanket, which is pretty cool. So that's my one and only finished object, guys. That right there. So I'm so happy that's over. <laughs> I can move on with my life. Um, yeah, my next whip is one that's just about finished. Um, I've been working on that since Christmas. Um, I think it's in here, yep. So this is going to be my next focus. Um, so I want to get rid of all my whips, all my works in progress before I start other, um, other whips. I'll just move my book out of the way. Um, at least it's not a plastic bag that you have to listen to guys. So this is my nephew's jumper. Oops, my bad. Sorry guys. I need it. I think the next thing I'm going to do is start sewing in some of these ends. They're driving me nuts. So, um, yeah. As soon as I get to the number of that white there, I'm going to add that in to the sleeve. Um, I haven't actually taken note of what I'm doing with his whole sweatshirt. Um, it's sort of go with the flow. And if I wanted to know what I've done, I'll just look at the stitches in, in the sweatshirt. Um, yeah, I've just used $2 shop yarn for this. So this was $3 for a ball at um, our local um, uh, Empire Mart. So that was cool. And that's 100 grams. You probably know the brand from your guys' $2 shops or something. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that, and then as you've seen in the last podcast, I finished my son's one, I still haven't been in a button mood guys, so um, that's going to be on hold for a little while, I've still got a while till winter, so, you know, he probably won't fit it till then. 
Uh, he probably won't even fit it anyway, so I'll probably have to give it to my new nephew when he gets older, of course. And that's even a while away. Um, what other whips have I got to show you? Sorry about the popping in and out, guys. I'm not going to show that yet. Alright, so as you know, I'm into my, my, into my icy arms. Um, on Saturday, I went to my knitting group. Honestly, guys, if you um, have like, look up a knitting group in, in your area, they are awesome, guys. You know, they're people that you can get along with, you can connect with if, you know, yeah. You, you can just get along with them. They're so cool. Um, they're just... I've learnt so much from just the two times that I've gone. Um, and I'm eager, really, really eager to learn more um, of what they know. I want to absorb their knowledge, you know. Um, so I really can't wait to go again. Right, I have some knitting that I've been working on. It's getting bigger, my blanket that I'm working on. This is Ice Yarns Ch Cakes Chain, guys. Um, it's really cool. It doesn't have a... No, it doesn't. It doesn't have a... color name but this is the blanket that I'm working on it's a corner to corner um, so yeah so I work on this probably on the weekends at the moment it's the middle of the week so and I've been focusing on my son's blanket so I haven't worked on it since last Saturday um, and I was sort of too busy talking with people to like um, you know do knitting which yeah I should have really done but um one of the people at our group brought their spinner along their yarn spinner so I got to see that that was awesome. Um, that really got me hooked. I really want to do some um, spinning. But um, it, I've already searched it up on YouTube. It looks a little complicated, but hey, this is my learning year, guys. I'm going to learn as much as I possibly can um, from my hobby. Um, that's my plan for this year. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that. I got two cakes of that. And this is still my first cake. So this blanket's going to be really cool, guys. I cannot wait to finish it. I'm just going to pop that away. And then I have one more just behind me here. I'm pretty sure I showed you the beanies that I knitted a while ago in a couple of other podcasts. Um, and I think I've shown this too. Um, this whip has still been on its lonesome. Since the last podcast I did work on it a fair bit. Um, I actually have to go back to the pattern. It's in my playlist. If you go and have a look, I think it's in my playlist. One of my um, one of my playlists. It's called knitting. It should be under there if you guys are interested. Um, yeah, it's a ribbed hat. So I've used the denim on the bottom as like the brim because it's all the same. And then I think you work like. 40 rows or something and then you do the decrease and 
all that so I'm gonna give that a go I've worked a fair bit on it so I'm gonna see where I'm up to and see whether I can um, give it a bit of a helping hand to finish um, yeah pretty much that's about that I can't wait till this is done because it's done on straight needles if I can do this as easy as I can then I'd be keen to do more on straight needles um, I seen a lady selling them at a market I went past one day and I asked her whether she did them on circulars or not and she said no she did them on straight needles so I've been looking for straight needle patterns hat patterns so um, yeah I'm giving that a go and Hopefully by next podcast, I will have another finished object for you guys. Um, and I'll be able to talk you through how I did it. So as you know, yeah, this is pretty basic. It's just ribbing. Um, but this is me doing a bit of a stash bust as well. So this is the old yarn I used for my... One of my... One of my cardigans that I did. Oh, I just realized. Oh no. No. Sorry. <laughs> it's double, it's not. I thought it was treble, triple um, ribbing there for a minute. I sort of freaked out a little, thinking I'd done my pattern wrong, but I'm looking too much into it now. Um, yeah. And that is the whips and stuff guys it's gone down a tad a tad into now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a look at some um I'm gonna take these out so that you guys can't hear the uh hear the plastic bag Oh my goodness, guys, I'm so excited about this. Oh man, I cannot. Um, I cannot wait to show you guys this. Okay, I'm going to put that down there. I'm going to try not to show it on camera. You can probably see it anyway. Right. I actually have to see... Uh, uh. Sorry guys, I just wanted to compare some, some, yeah, yeah, okay, alright, today I, I went to Spotlight, I thought oh why not, they might have um, some new yarns, and they have loads of um, clearance at the moment, lots of summer, oh, yeah, no, summer stuff going out, so all the cakes are on, um, all the cakes are on special at the moment, on clearance. Um, but they've got new ones. I'm going to show you the old ones first, from, um, what I got. Um, so I just got the Marvel Print 8 Ply. I've already got this. Uh, in my little box over there, but it's not enough to do anything with. Um, so I have obtained some more, and hopefully I can do a little outfit for my nephew or something in it. Um, they're awesome colours. Um, it's 100% acrylic, four seasons, using a four mil needle. Crochet hook, needle, whatevs, um, yeah, spotlight. So that's one of my buys today. Um, I also got Mondavira Gelato, that one, Gelato. Um, I've already got that, as you saw me get it down from the shelf. But I have four of these. I've brought four of these now because um, I want to do more with it. 
um, something more to just use it up. Um, so this is 50% acrylic, 50% cotton. Mondavira Gelato. I'm using a 3.25 millimeter needle, crochet hook, either or. Um, so I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with this. I'm thinking of maybe doing a pattern, t-shirt pattern, just simple what I've been doing, but I'm using this here. That's going to be an interesting one, guys, and hopefully they're going to keep it because if I do end up doing a t-shirt with it, I'm going to need a lot more. So I got four of those. Um, what else did I get? Yeah. Right. Gypsy, this one is for you. Today, after we talked about those um, gradients, I was like, I wonder if they still got them at Spotlight. So I went over and had a look, and sure enough, they were $12 for... Ta-da! The gradients. This one here is, it does have a name, I did see it, oh, Sea Greens. This one here is awesome colours, guys. Awesome, awesome colours. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, I might do a cowl, as the um, thing says. I've been wanting to do a cowl for ages with these. But the gradients are so awesome, guys. Definitely really awesome. I can't wait to work with them. They might go on hold for a while until some of my other projects are out of the way. Um, and it might get pushed back even more and end up sitting on my shelf. Um, there's two more, three more actually. Wow. This one I'm absolutely in love with. This one is 100% polyester. Yarn Spirations Brunette Baby Marley. In the colorway, it does have a colorway. Robin's Nest is the colorway. Very awesome colors, guys. This one's going to be a blanket for my new nephew. It's going to be, oh my goodness, I am absolutely in love with this. This is like a flannel feeling. It's like a flannel sheet feeling. That's what it feels like. This is so soft. Like, oh my goodness. So I've got two of these. Um, I'm going to start out with one. If anyone can recommend a really nice, um, either knitted or probably crocheted, I might just do a basic single, single crochet blanket for him. Um, and maybe a fancy border, I don't know. Um, but if anyone can suggest a blanket pattern, crocheted or knitted, it would be really nice. An easy one, please. Easy, quick, would be really nice. Um, thank you in advance, of course. So I got two of these. And last but not least, I am so excited about this. One. It's for my mother, my mum. I've seen the colours in the cake, uh, the Karen latte cakes. i seen them, I couldn't help it. I was just like, oh, that sold me, it went and got a basket, and that was the first thing in it. Um, this one is called Earl Grey, <laughs> which suits mum really well, because she drinks Earl Grey. I can't stand Earl Grey tea. Um... She said she'd rather rather a mocha latte cake than um than a latte cake. I was like, oh my goodness, mum. But um, yeah, this is gonna be this is making my hands sweat so bad. Um, this is gonna be a nice scarf for her. I'm just gonna do a basic one. It'll probably be knitted. Yeah, knitted's easier in this stuff. But um, I know heaps of people love this cake. Um, it's very popular over in America. Gypsy. We need to do a comparison video, girl. We need to do one. And compare our spotlights. 
Um, but yeah, that's new in store at the moment. I might have to do a warehouse one at some stage. So like the um, main mega store, um, which is like half an hour away from us. Um, and see whether they've got any other colours and anything else new because I guarantee you the mega store will get it first if anything. So yeah, pretty much guys, that is my little haul. Um thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it wasn't too long. That was really interesting by the way. Um yeah, I'm so glad I got that blanket finished. It's a mega, like, it wasn't a weight off my off my shoulders, but I got motivated to do it after a while. Um, so if you guys are ever losing your Crojo or anything over a project, um, you know, pick it up and start working on it. If you don't end up, you know, you end up saying, oh, I don't want to do this anymore then it's not the right pattern to be doing for what you're working on um try something different guys um you know think of a different uh pattern to use the yarn with it might inspire you more um yeah i know um i have so many ideas now i've actually got to write them all down and my projects, I might have to do my Ravelry at some stage and start pinning up my um, projects that I want to do and what I'm working on. Um, but yeah guys, go to my Instagram, there's not much on there at the moment. There's a few old, um, oh my blank, a few old projects that I posted up from my Facebook page. Um, I'll probably end up posting the photo of the blanket up there. Oh, it may already be on my story. Um, but yeah. Go over, check it out. There's more stuff on my Facebook. Um, so jump over there also and check that out. Um, yeah, I will leave all the links in the description below. Um, also, I'd just like to say a big hi to Gypsy. I know we talk <laughs> quite often, but um, yeah, guys, I will leave her Facebook, uh, her YouTube down link down below as well. She's awesome, guys. She's so bubbly and and just my type of person. Um, she's been getting a lot of um, mail lately and it's really exciting and making me want to go yarn shopping even more it's just mm, it's awesome guys so go and check it out and I will see you guys on Sunday maybe with another video and another update video thank you guys so much for watching bye